M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're going to factory reset my Pi Star hotspot. So I'll show you how to do it. So there's your Pi Star. Just go on the far right here, hit factory reset. We're going to do it. And then we're going to reconfigure it because it's playing up. So I'm like, I'm just going to factory reset it. So we'll let that go through the process. It's on a Raspberry Pi 3B, which means it will go quite, it will reboot quite quick. So the hotspot just looks like this, just an MMDVM board. You buy these for £20 on eBay. But you do need the Pi Zero or the Pi 3 underneath. Right, it's reset. So now, um, when you reset it, you're lucky you, you do keep your Pi Star, your, sorry, your IP address. But if you ever couldn't find it, what you do, you type, go to a new browser and type in Pi, in lowercase, Pi-STR. P-A-R dot local. And you really, you need with a slash like that. And then hit, click the blue one. And look, see the way it says no mode defined? So that's great. So just hit, when you see that, click configure. And the pa password is pi dash S-T-A-R. Uh, a lot of this seems really scary if you've never done it, but don't worry, just persevere. I know you, sometimes you just feel like chucking it out the window but just persevere so right get your call sign in so it's m0 m0 fxb now we're going to consider to configure this for d star so there's no need for a dmr number the frequency of my hotspot is 433.550 so we've got that in there so we get this is as much as we're allowed to put in at this point so then we have to click apply changes Got little Nico in the background, if you can hear that going off. Now I have got my D-Star radio in, on in the background, so we'll hear it if it suddenly fires up. It's an ID51. There you go. It's a blue one. Nice and blue. So, very nice radio. Plus two. So, click OK. So, now, it's asking us to configure the actual modem. So, that's the type of... Uh, MMDVM board we got and I nearly always choose this one here STM DVM MMDVM HS Raspberry Pi hat GPO so that's the one I nearly always choose slide on the D star I don't think at this point we can select which reflector we can go on so for now we're gonna have to apply that again and if this all goes to plan we'll be listening to our uh, hotspot in minutes and so that's how quick you can do it Really, the trickiest thing is always fi finding the IP address. And if you remember that little tip about pistar.local, that will really help. Right, so we're there, and we just need to ref uh, select reflector. Now, we're not linked yet because we still need to find the reflector we want. We're going to go to 30. 30, although it should, maybe it should, no, actually it's linked, Reflector 1 Charlie's linked to something else in my house. So, and it's C, and now I've got to put a H next to my, normally it's a B, but I've got to put a H, because I've already got uh, the B part configured on this radio. So if it doesn't work, I'll just change it back to B. So let's click apply and delete the other one. Apply changes. And we'll put, turn the radio up. See it rebooting now. I mean, Pi Star is just fantastic uh, free, you know, software, image, and they're always doing stuff, updating it. There you go. So we're all linked, and that, that's how long it takes. So uh, yeah, I hope this helps you set up your your hotspot MMDVN. It literally took about five minutes. So uh, any messages, any problems at all, just give me a call. M0FXB73 if you like my channel.